Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through capital budgeting. So basically, we know about capital, right? So capital is nothing but your initial investment by the proprietor or the by the owner of the company. So capital budgeting. So you'll be budgeting the capital that how much you should invest. So that how much you'll be getting it back. So if you invest 5 lakhs, you should get at least 6 lakhs, right? So the 1 lakh will be your profit. So in that way, you should analyze and you should keep focus on your business, right? So that is nothing but capital budgeting, guys. So capital budgeting is a process of evaluating investments and huge expenses in order to obtain the best returns on invest. So whatever you keep, you need to get at least some something extra for that. So that is nothing but capital budgeting. Okay. So what are the characteristics of capital budgeting? So there is a exchange of funds we're going to get. No, it is non-fixable. Okay. So and we are having huge funds and we'll be getting future expansions really easily. So we can expand our building really, sorry, our business really easily. So what are the, what is the process of capital budgeting? So I told you we need to search for it, we need to invest it, we should get the profit. So how you'll be identifying it and all those things. So initially you'll be identifying all the investment opportunities guys. Guys to be clear this topic will be something like you need to invest in your shares. And you'll be searching for what share you want to invest. Like which company, which company could be the best, which company will rise its shares really damn high in future. Like that you'll be thinking right. So those things you'll be checking in this guys. So identify the investment opportunities. So you'll be identifying all the investment opportunities. So evaluate all the investment op proposals. So now you identified it. Or let us assume you identified 10. So now you'll be evaluating them. So which is the better? So you'll be keeping in the ascending order of their increasing profit. According to that, you'll be keeping them. So after that, you'll be choosing the most profitable investment. So you'll be checking which is the most profitable or the highest profit returning, returning uh, investment so you'll be investing in it so after that you'll be calculating the capital budgeting and approximation so you'll be giving an approximate thing so if i invest here 5 lakhs i'm gonna get 10 lakhs in five years like that you'll be adjusting so these things you'll be uh, you'll be listening in share markets and everything guys okay so after that you'll be giving your performance review so that these are the five steps that you'll be following guys so i think i gave you a small small idea so now let us go through the theoretical explanation so identifying that is nothing but investment opportunities. So an organization need to first identify an investment opportunity like purchasing new assets. So it should identify, right? Okay, so once it is identifying, so it will evaluate. So once an investment opportunity has been recognized, an organization need to evaluate its options. So whether it need to buy it or not, or it need to wait for six months and then buy it. So like that it will be evaluating and choosing a profitable investment. So you'll be checking some profitable investment. Once the investment opportunities are identified and all proposals are evaluated, an organization needs to decide the most profitable investment and select it. Okay, so once selecting is done, so capital budgeting approximation. So after the project is selected, an organization needs to fund this project. To fund the project, it needs to identify the sources of funds and allocate it accordingly. Sources of funds will be nothing but investment, loans, shares, etc. Further moving on, we will also be having performance review, the fifth step. So performance review, the last step in which the process of capital budgeting is reviewed the investment. So whatever you you invested, will you get it back? So you'll be checking it guys. So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let us discuss guys. So advantages of capital budgeting. So you're going to get large investment. You'll be getting long term profits and we are, we will be getting irreversible in nature guys. If you want to get your money back, you can get your money back, but you need to get it in a proper time or else you'll be, you'll be in your loss. Fine. So disadvantages of capital budgeting is nothing but future uncertainty. Yeah, this is what I was told, said, saying guys. So that you cannot say that you'll be getting your exact money back. You may get a huge profit or you may also get a huge profit. So this is nothing but uncertainty. So time element. Time element plays a major role guys. So let us assume you invested in some company's shares for 5 years. And you have just removed it because of some issues. So you removed it 4th year. So in the 4 to 5 years, there, there is a huge growth in the company and there is a huge profit. So in this element, that is your issue, right? So unfortunately, you have removed it. So that's time element plays a major role and difficult to measure. You cannot judge the future, guys. So that's the main issue. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through methods of capital budgeting, guys. So how we will be getting the money back? So how much time is required? And all those things we'll be discussing in the next lectures, guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.